Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the iCast series, where you ask questions and I do my best to give the answers that, you know, either might fit you well or not. You know, I might embarrass myself, but that's fine. Remember to ask questions in the comments below so that I can continue to answer these questions and you'll, you know, keep giving me stuff to talk about because otherwise I'm just going to sit here and mumble for like a minute. So in this video, we're going to talk about Windows 7 security. I've gotten this question a bunch of times. Uh, we could probably throw Vista in there as well. People have asked me, should I disable the user access control, the US UAC control? Now this UAC control is to prevent unexpected or unwanted execution of ex executable files, okay? I, in my Faster 7 series, suggested disabling this, but I also said it with a warning. Now, if you read my, or watched my 10-minute video where I had the 20 faster tips in 10 minutes, and you didn't get that. Now, remember, at the beginning of the video, I said you're going to watch the extended video on these videos because I don't have time to elaborate in security. I was squeezing as many tips into one as I could. So the question is, should you disable Windows 7 user access control? Or user account control? It's one of the two. It's, I think it's account control. The answer is maybe. Okay, user account control is a great feature. It prevents unexpected executions of files. Yes, okay, I agree, that's great. The problem is it becomes a blind spot. For any of you guys know what a blind, don't know what a blind spot is, a blind spot's what occurs even in online advertising, but it's the product of dismissal. Okay, people will see something and they'll, they'll read it the first time and select okay. They see it a second time, they select okay. They see it the third time, they select okay. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. They stop reading it after the umpteenth time they've received the request. That's what happens with user account control. It's a psychology thing. So here you are running your computer like normal and you're being constantly asked, should you run this? Do you want to run this? Are you sure you wanted to run this? Are you sure, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? And eventually over time you just habitually keep clicking OK, 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 and 99% of the time, you just let whatever wasn't supposed to execute, execute anyway. So if you are one of those people who read it every time, then don't disable it. If you're that concerned about your security, no, don't disable it. You're going to use it, but most people aren't going to use it. They're just going to be annoyed by it pretty much 90, 100,000 times before they switch operating systems. So that's up to you. Now, for those of you who don't know how to disable user account control, open up your search bar, type in UAC or user account control, and you can bring it up. That's that box that pops up in your face. Are you sure you wanted to execute this? That's what that is. It drives me nuts. But like I said, it does decrease your security levels only in the sense that are you going to read it every time it pops up? That's up to you. So as always, thanks for stopping by. I hope that answered the question. Some of you might disagree with me, but I think it's a psychological thing. But you know, use your own discretion. If you trust yourself with it, then get rid of it. If you don't trust yourself without it, keep it. Or you don't trust the person using the computer, keep it. So don't forget to ask more questions if you have them. Remember, this is the iCast series. It's just for you guys. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, everywhere. Subscribe on YouTube, of course. Leave comments. Like this video if you liked it. And I'm loving this No. This, this no shaky cam thing. I'm like, I'm a, I feel free. I can move my hands. So, as always, thanks again, and uh, keep those questions coming.